This is a video by Rich Pin. Today we're doing some diagnostic work on a car that has a P0410 trouble code stored in this computer. That's a problem with the air pump system. This is the air pump right here on a Saturn S series. Now the first thing you want to do is start up the car and then listen to this pump and then put your hand on it and feel it. See if it's working. Now if it's not working, you want to check the electrical connector right here. Make sure that there's current going to it. Now if there's current going to the pump, that's most likely the problem right there. The pump is shot. Now, if there is current going to the pump and the pump is working, the next thing you need to do is remove this hose right here and see if airflow is coming out of the hose. Now, if there's no air coming out of that hose, well, that's the problem. That hose is blocked. Now, if there is air coming out of the hose, you want to remove this hose right here. It's a vacuum line, and you want to check vacuum at this hose. Now, if you don't see vacuum at that hose, you want to follow it all the way back to where it goes to the intake manifold up here and make sure that where it plugs into the throttle body that it's not clogged and then check for flow from this end of the hose to the other end. Now if you do have a vacuum at this hose that goes into this switching valve from the computer you want to check this end of the hose for vacuum. Now that's while it's the vehicle is started up and it's running for that first 30 seconds or so. Check for vacuum there. Now, if you don't see vacuum at that line, take off this electrical connector and check for current there. Now, if you do see current there, well, that's the problem. That switch is bad. Now, if you are getting vacuum at this diverter valve right here, you want to check the outflow from this pipe to the exhaust manifold. Now there's two 10 millimeter nuts here that secure the diverter valve for the bracket. Just remove it and you should see airflow out of there. Now if you don't see airflow, well then it's this diverter valve that's the problem. Now if you do see airflow out of the valve, you need to remove this pipe and check it. Now there are two 10 millimeter nuts here on some studs that hold it to the exhaust manifold. You want to remove those. and then the pipe will come off. Now you can you can inspect the the pipe make sure that there's no carbon buildup in there most likely this is where the problem is on that code is either in this pipe or carbon buildup in the exhaust manifold here. And that's it for checking a PO410 trouble code.